And a local grandmother is alive this evening, thanks to a program you've seen right here on TV5. The News at 6 starts right now. Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNEM TV5 News at 6. As action played out on the court of a local varsity girls basketball game, a different kind drew attention to the sidelines where fast acting heroes saved a woman's life. The 75 year old woman was at Saginaw Heritage High School to watch her granddaughter take on the Heritage Hawks with the Midland Dow varsity team. And during the game, tragedy struck. She suffered a heart issue and needed to be revived using an automated external defibrillator, one that was just donated to the school. In an exclusive you'll see only on on TV5, Jason Fielder spoke to the woman about the ordeal. Sandra Partlow is resting comfortably in a local hospital after receiving the scare of a lifetime. They told me that I uh, had my heart had just quit beating and for about 15 minutes. On Wednesday night, Sandra was watching her granddaughter play in a varsity basketball game at Saginaw Heritage when she passed out and lost consciousness. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, saying to my daughter, I think uh, they're going to win this game. Within seconds, people responded to the situation, and Saginaw Heritage Athletic Director Pete Ryan ran up the bleachers and assessed the scene. We uh, found a 75-year-old uh, woman that was having a heart attack. Uh, we immediately put our emergency response team into action. While one member of the team called 911, another retrieved an automated external defibrillator, or AED, and began using it. Heritage High School athletic trainer Kurt Cabanillo was at the scene and helped out. The AEDs arrived pretty quickly. Um, Mr. Ryan went and got the AEDs. They were applied. They let them do their job and luckily uh, they worked and she was revived before the MMR got there. Responders say they used three shocks and did 12 minutes of CPR on Sandra before she regained consciousness. She was then taken to a local hospital. When do you remember coming to? Uh, when I got here in the hospital. She's been at the hospital ever since, undergoing tests and observation. My life was saved from the, uh, the really fast action of the people at the school. And, and I, I'm just very thankful for that. The exact AED used to save Sandra's life was just given to Saginaw Heritage by the Pulse 3 Foundation, thanks to money raised from last month's Shocks and Saves hockey game at the Dow Event Center. So basically, the local charity event saved a local woman's life. The Pulse 3 Foundation provides AEDs to area schools, churches, and nonprofits throughout the Great Lakes Bay region. And uh, by the way, Sandra will be getting a defibrillator installed sometime next week. So I know I'll be thinking of her and her family, who I got to know pretty well putting this story together over the last 24 hours. And you mentioned, too, that she's a little disappointed that she can't be at the game. <laughs> yeah, so she likes to go to every game and watch yeah. her granddaughter and cheer on Dow. And uh, she wanted to go, obviously, to this yeah. one, but she can't. And she even talked about going next week if they win. And her daughters are like, no, Mom, you're, you're not going yeah. to any game. Her husband got a radio brought into her hospital room, so she will be listening to the game that oh, just good. tipped off a couple minutes ago. Good stuff. Wow, yeah. incredible. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. Yes, thank you.